More tearing down and building up on Grant Road this week. Yeah, contractors are demolishing buildings to make way for the widening project that's been in the works for many years. While those workers tear down, others are building up new layers of pavement. It's in a section of Grant Road so rough, city officials felt they could not wait to repave until the widening work reaches that section of Grant seven years from now. Nine Your Sides' Craig Smith is live where some of the demolition work is happening at Grant and Santa Rita. Craig. Well, so I have a look at this lot here, which is being cleared as part of making room for that widening on Grant. You can see they haven't done too much on the house so far, but they have removed the driveway leading into the garage. They've removed some of the other uh, concrete uh, groundwork slabs and such uh, on the outside of the house. Now let's go ahead and switch to a different view. This will be an aerial view where you can see the demolition work that's done on the other side of this structure. Again, so far it's mostly slab work and so on before they actually start on the main body of this house. Overall, so far 15 properties have been scheduled for demolition to make room, make way for more room on Grant. When you're adding more space to Grant, that space has to come from somewhere. This is one of those places, a home on the corner of Santa Rita and Grant. So the Grant Road project has been in the works for many years. Some neighbors were still surprised to see this home going to pieces. The map for Grant Road from Stone to Santa Rita shows 15 properties set for demolition from now through May. Lots marked in green go first, purple's next, blue is third. Property owners not on the list may relax a bit. Mike Grohall's family business sells equipment for oil and gasoline. It has been on Grant for more than 63 years, and for a lot of years, it was not clear whether the business could stay there. We had planned on that, and we knew it, it might happen. So. Uh, as a family business, we saved and, uh, uh, you know, and we're ready if we had to move. We knew it would be a headache, but uh, certainly for, you know, thinking about Tucson and progressing, I'm, I want roads to be wide I want things good for Tucson. At the moment, a lot of the work digs deep as contractors move underground utilities. From Santa Rita to Columbus, work is underway to smooth out pavement so rough the city says it did not want drivers to wait the seven years it would take the widening project to roll out a smoother ride there. Workers plan to finish repaving from Santa Rita to Campbell by April 15th. Campbell to Country Club should finish later this month. Now, new at 6, we'll talk to people from a business right where that repaving is happening. At the moment, they're worried the repaving is driving off business, but they hope it'll bring business back when customers can get a smoother ride there. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side. Yeah, good news, Craig. Thank you.